Hi guys, this is Uma from React to the K, and it's Kevin. Oh yeah, I always, you always start these yeah, I start recording with so K. early. No, you, you always oh, start yeah, yeah, recording yeah. so early and I never know when we're so rolling. So I can, it's just, the, just look for the red dot. Yeah. 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 So, as you can see by the title, we are reacting to Park Yoshin's Sound of Winter. So you have not reacted to this artist yet. No, I keep on hearing you say Park the Ocean. And that's really poetic. No, but Park Hyoshin. Um, we're okay. going, you are going to react to his song called Wildflower, and this was recently released, and fans kept tweeting me, check it out, check it out, and I checked out like 10 seconds of it, and I was like, Kevin's gonna throw down some music theory shit while I'll just go like, oh, feels! So, yeah. It's I hope my music yeah. theory shit doesn't prohibit you from feeling the feels. We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll keep it we'll see. succinct. That timpani. Right. That timpani and the, the quiet low chord. What is this? Sibelius? Oh, that's not Sibelius. It's like Mislanka. Is it? Kind of? Kind of? Or no, it's, it's soundtracky. It's like, yeah, you know that running in slow It's like motion. Cherry to Fire. It's exactly like Cherry. Oh. Yeah, oh my god. Wait, shh. Are those French words? This is exactly like Cherry to Fire. Same instrumentation, same. Except it has not the. Except it's in Korean and there's. It's not a bad thing, by the way. I like how much reverb is in his voice. That's so good. It's creating the right atmosphere. Yeah. Oh, minor. Okay, hello. Hello. That's very it's typical. It's See, typical. okay, I'm prohibiting you from feeling feels. <laughs> Ooh, oh, it's different. It's just five suspended. The chord changed beneath. The tympanus changed. Every chord change feels so dramatic. And but it almost feels gentle. It's like dramatic. Exactly, gentle. exactly. Oh, it's moving more now. The, the. Nice use of suspensions. Ugh. I wonder if the texture's gonna become thicker. Like With a little vibrato. Whoa, that falsetto! I missed it! It's okay, well, listen. I missed the falsetto! Oh, I'm gonna cry! <laughs> oh, the strings, those real strings! Man, this is a real miracle in December, guys. Ooh! Oh, I love how, like, the strings... Inversion! Which one? The chord that you just commented on. The okay. strings. It makes such a big difference. He went into falsetto and the strings like rise above his There's voice. There's the bell, the placement of the bell. And the placement of the piano. Wait, sleeping what? <laughs> sleeping <piano>. water. <laughs> Were those jingle, uh, sleigh bells? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the song takes its time. I really like that. I like that. I'm starting yeah. to really fall for the songs that it's are very, just slow to mm -hmm. develop. It's very spacious. Mm -hmm. You just listen to it and you can just, you just be immersed in it. And I love how the many, swelling of yeah. the strings. How many songs are immersive, guys? A lot of IU's recent tracks. Yeah. And I'm in love. Mm. I'm falling in love with more solo artist stuff because I feel like they can just do whatever right. or what they want. Instead of like, you know, the company produced hot song mm -hmm. feeling. I like the hi hats. It's gone now. But... Catch the falsetto this time. Oh, it's not. It's it's head voice. That's so very good, though. No, it's head voice. Yeah. It's head voice. It's it's right almost falsetto. Yeah. Those double the double basses, which you can hear below the cellos. That's what's making this sound so spacious with the high strings. And you know, it's just real orchestra shit. See, or I, soundtrack can, I, can, orchestra I can hear that. Sally. Soundtrack orchestra. Not classical orchestra, but soundtrack orchestra. Choirs! Oh, it's so. Don't, don't. Well. What I love about this is 
not quite pop orchestra. Mm -hmm. Pop orchestra gets a little cheesy. Mm, yeah. That's like the Disney. The piano is the closest it comes to being poppy. And the hi hat. Oh right. Ooh. Ooh, I like how the bells are doubling the piano line. What was this? Modulation. Oh, you cut it faster than I did. Oh, the person with perfect pitch. I mean, I realized that the moment you said it, I'm like, oh, it's a modulation. And you're modulation. <laughs> I'm just so at peace. I can't, I can't have a freak out right now. I'm just so I'm at peace. freaking out. <laughs> that chord. Yeah, that's the. Yeah, that's you the testify. Version. You testify. What? <laughs> He's like, ah. It's almost with the guitar now, or back then. It was like, it's almost swung. Da, 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 da. Not swung. It's oh. in three. It's just duple three. Okay. It's a subtle difference, though. But so, props for saying that. Snare drum, though. Is it gonna end with? Oh no! Oh. It's the my chemical romance thing. When I was a young boy. <laughs> Oh, that's something I like. Man, my chemical romance ruined snare drums. But it's, so, it's not so gentle. Like Kevin it. Wang 2018. My chemical romance ruined snare drums. Not Bolero. My chemical romance. Shh. The ending of the chorus line kind of conflicted with, I think it was the piano or like no, the strings wait. or something. Oh, okay. No, it's just it's just like one soprano section. Oh, it's going. It's getting gentler and gentler almost. Oh, oh I the got string the, melody. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll speak later. Oh, they're just doing the electronic fade out. Why not? Because you got a cadence. No, you don't. Not for this. For this, I feel you're, like you're, I need ethereal a ethereal choir to like play out the song. Like if there's any song that could use that, that that could benefit from the fade out, it's that. But um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, I liked how the choir, the levels weren't too high. It wasn't in your face, and when you know when you got when it got to the lowest note, which is an A flat, it actually blended with the instrument sort of, and you kind of have to listen. You actually have to listen for it, and that's so important. Especially since, since, like we said, the chorus didn't have any male vocalists, there was no tenors, no basses, you hear the cellos playing, and maybe even stand-up basses, playing along with the chorus mm -hmm. in either octaves or lower harmonies, and I just love that texture so much. Because at first I was like, wait, are there male voices? And I was like, oh, no, no. those are strings. No. So that was fucking gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And it didn't have a climax. It didn't go cheesy on us. I think yeah. the I think the closest it comes to a climax is the first time we hear the choir. The falsetto. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. The first time the choir comes up. You know, it, you were like choir, and then the modulation worked too. Like yeah, you know, it was weird. a very so it, it was more like a plateau. It wasn't like a climax. It was just like oh, this is the top. Ooh, it matches with the window. The window line. Yeah, this is the top, and then it goes to, and then you know we're gonna fade out with just the choir. That's cool how the song starts with, you know, just the instrumentals and it takes time before the voice comes in and the ending is just the choir. Oh. That was so nice, especially since I love the mixing too, like you were saying how the choir wasn't too much. Mm -hmm. The first thing right up front is Park Ocean's voice. Mm -hmm. And then the piano. Mm -hmm. And the bells are sometimes almost as loud as the piano. And then mm -hmm. there's um, the percussion is like at the same level as the strings so they don't overpower it. That's sometimes in concerts actually when we're practicing pieces. The conductors often go in the back of the hall and say percussion, you're way too loud. You're overpowering the rest of the orchestra or the rest of the band. Mm -hmm. Quiet down. So what's nice in, I don't know whether they actually performed it in a hall or in individual rooms and and edited it right. afterwards in the mix. This is one of those songs where like in a live venue it could be ruined depending on how they choose to mix the bass and the percussion. The snare. Yeah. Like, if that snare was louder, it exactly. would totally change the mood. It already changed my mood. <laughs> it was like my chemical romance. Yeah. 
And it's not even similar to my chemical. It's just the fact that it's a snare drum. It's mm. so I'm so sad. Well, I mean, what would have you used? You're tom. Right. I would have used a tom. I could have used some like bass drum strokes. Yes! Bass drum strokes bass would have been nice. Like when he went up to falsetto or like mm -hmm. the modulation, just a nice warm mm -hmm. bass drum yeah. hit. Yeah. Like it didn't need any uh, gong, it didn't need a gong. But bass drum would have been, because bass drum has this warm, deep, dark feeling. Like already the timpani had that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I have a feeling you guys have no idea what these instruments are. Half of you do, probably. Oh, you can Google it. You can Google yeah, you, come it. Come on, we, got, know, we, we, we can trust our fans, yeah. uh, okay, honestly. Okay. I trust you guys. I trust you guys, but then it, it takes so much time to Google. Anyways, we'll, we'll do a what? future video where we explain what instruments look like yes. and sound like. How about that? Look forward to that. Woo! All right, see All right, you guys. See you later. Bye. Bye.